With The Life Ahead, Sophia Loren is approaching her 100th movie. She's going for much more. Gina Lollabrigida turns 90 on Tuesday and the city of Rome is celebrating the actress, rolling out the red carpet and unveiling a new sculpture to celebrate her career with a special ceremony on Via Condotti. If a new interview with Lollabrigida is any guide, the Italian actress, sculptor, photojournalist, singer, and sex symbol has lost none of her biting wit and still knows how to hold a grudge. Asked about her infamous rivalry with Sofia Loren, Lala Brigida ranked their long-running spat among the greatest of Italian feuds from other spheres, together with Copy Barely, Professional Cycling, and Callas Tabaldi, Opera, Dot I was not looking for any rivalry against anyone, I was the no. 1. Lala Brigida told Corriere della Sera. I succeeded only thanks to myself, without any producer supporting me. I did everything alone, said Lala Brigida, taking aim at producer, and Loren's husband, Carlo Ponti's investment in Lauren to launch her into international stardom. Lauren and Lala Brigida have often been described as career rivals. Lauren, egged on by the European press, once claimed that she was bustier than Lala Brigida, who hit back saying Lauren could play a peasant, but never a lady. Lala Brigida, however, has claimed in the past that the feud was bogus, a fabrication of Lauren's press department, and that only Lauren herself has been keeping it alive for the past 50 years. Described in her prime as the most beautiful woman in the world. Lala Brigida is set to receive a long overdue star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next year. In the new interview, the actress also spoke of meeting Fidel Castro as a photojournalist, admiring him as a man, if not as a political leader. Lala Brigida described turning 90 as simply, 30 plus 30 plus 30. Getting older for a woman is a handicap, but the tough experiences I have had have given me the courage to face the difficulties. Lala Brigida famously turned down an offer from Howard Hughes to work in Hollywood. Her top Italian roles include Bread, Love, and Dreams, 1953, The Wayward Wife, 1953, and Women of Rome, 1954. She starred opposite Humphrey Bogart in John Huston's Beat the Devil, 1953, and with Rock Hudson in Come September, 1961. The actress was nominated for two Golden Globes for the film Buona Sera, MRS. Campbell, 1963, and for the series Falcon Crest, 1981. Lala Brigida has won seven David Di Donatello awards throughout her career. In 2013, she sold her jewelry collection, raising almost $5 million for stem cell research.